Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabara, it's Barb. In today's video, we have a ton of cleaning motivation and I hope you're here for it. This is just a preview. Make sure you stay to the end for the beautiful afters. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. So we're going to start here in the kitchen like we usually do. I'm going to get these dishes washed, put away all the things. I'm also going to clean off the island. It always gets crazy messy in here. And I'm also going to be cleaning and organizing the utensils and the silverware drawers. I'm going to be doing this throughout the month just to get ready for Christmas. I don't know if I'll film them all, but I'm gonna go through the whole kitchen and organize every count, uh, every cabinet and drawer. So maybe I will film all that for y'all. We are hosting Christmas here this year for my husband's family. So the, the kitchen will definitely, definitely be used a lot. So I wanna make sure everything's in place and nice and clean, all the things. So anyway, we have a very busy month um, with cleaning for sure. I hope everyone's doing well. If you're new here and you like videos like these, I usually put up one once a week, um, maybe twice a week sometimes, and I just clean a real life messy house. We have four kids, three that still live at home with us, and uh, the house gets really, really messy. We also homeschool. We live on a ranch. We have a lot of land to take care of, so we're very busy, but we try to do the best we can with what we have. So. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope it gets you motivated. If you want to get up and clean with me, that would be great. If you want to just chill and relax and watch, then go ahead and do that too. Either way, I'm happy that you're here and I hope everyone's doing well. As always, let me know down in the comments how you're doing and what's your plans for Christmas this year. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. So the last video I put up last week, I um, told y'all that my husband got us a fish. It's a beta. His name's Twintail Half Moon. That's the name that came on the package. My husband wanted to keep that name, so we did. But anyway, I, I had a couple of people, at least two people, tell me that he needed to be in a tank and that he needed to have a filter and all the things, which when I was younger... I had a beta and all I had was a little fishbowl with an IV coming out of it and the thing lived for a very very long time and now I feel really bad because they say that betas need at least three to five gallons um, they need the filter they also need a heater so anyway it was a lot of stuff that I didn't know about betas there are some people that still say that you can keep beta in just a bowl. They don't need all the things and they're pretty resilient. But I also found some videos where people said that, yes, they need the extra space. They like it. Um, we can't put any other fish with him, of course. I knew that. Um, but there are a few different types of fish that I guess they can be with. Anyways, it was a whole thing. This beta has been... <laughs> A whole experience for us, but he's doing okay over there in his tank. They also said that um, buying them from stores that keep them in little bitty containers, they might not live as long. Um, so I don't know how long he's going to live or whatever. We're doing the most for him that we can, but they say if, they're, if they sell betas in a little container at the store, then they're probably not going to live that long. Um, 
so anyway, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the beta. If you know anything about betas, let me know down in the comments. I, um, personally, I don't get attached to fish. I hardly get attached to any animals except for dogs, um, just because I've lost so many and I just living in the country my whole life, having so many animals, I am very, um, I don't want to say cold, but I've just learned that that is just loss that happens constantly when you live in the country or whatever, if you have animals. So, um, I don't, I don't know how it's going to go with the fish, hoping he does well. I really like having him in the kitchen with me when I'm cleaning and stuff. I just like to look over at him and he's there swimming around. I don't know. It's just different for me, I guess. Um, but a lot of people take it very seriously on how the fish is to be treated. And we will do our best to give Twintel Half Moon the best life we can while he's here. Um, but yeah, it, it's just been a whole thing. I've been researching this beta and trying to figure out what he needs exactly. Um, it, yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, we also... Sadie right now is a mess. She has mange. We had to take her to the vet. Uh, we thought she was going through um, some allergies. We thought uh, her being at the trainer for that month, maybe she wasn't in the best conditions. Like here, she's very spoiled. She's inside dog. Um, so we didn't know what was going on with her skin. But we ended up taking her to the vet and she has mange. So we had to get her creams, shampoos, uh, antibiotics, another um, next guard pill, all that stuff. And it unfortunately, I don't know if she got it from being at the trainer, like I said, if she picked it up there or if she picked it up from our yard because we have uh, neighbors that have dogs and I have noticed that their dogs are, um, well, they look like they have mange. <laughs> so I'm sure maybe she got it from our yard because the dogs do try to come in our yard. We try to keep them out as much as possible because we have chickens out here. We have Sadie. I have kids. I don't like other dogs coming in my yard at all. I don't trust them. I don't want them around my kids. And I wish people would take more precautions. Like we do not let Sadie out of our sight. She's a big dog. She's now 113 pounds when the vet waiter. Um, I don't know what she's capable of. No, but no one knows what a dog is capable of, but our neighbors have kids. Our neighbors have animals. I would never just let her be free. We are very responsible when it comes to that because it's it could be a life or death situation. But a lot of people don't look at it like that. They let their dogs run and do what they want, especially in the country. Like I said, it's a country thing. People do not, it's not like living in the city when like, it's just different. It's hard to explain. I know people that have lived in the country, they, they will understand what I'm saying about all this. But anyway, Sadie's going through it right now, guys. So pray for her. She uh, has to wear a cone. We have to put cream on her. Um, it's actually, it seems like the mange is already dead. Uh, it's just dry skin now and just getting her hair to come back and getting her to heal. We didn't let it get too, too bad. So hopefully she'll heal pretty fast. We'll see what happens. But I also have to have her tied up because I can't have her getting on the furniture, being around the kids or any of that with the mange. Um, because I guess people can also get it, but it just doesn't live on us as long, but it still grosses me out. So I want to keep her off the furniture for now. So she is tied up and, um, she, she does get her freedom though on the porch. We let her run around. She also has a runner outside where she can run across the yard back and forth. Um, so she gets her exercise and everything. And, uh, but yeah, we just, we have to bathe her twice a week and it's just a lot she's going through my poor baby so anyway hoping she gets better before Christmas and all the things so that's everything that's going on with the critters uh the chickens are doing great though um we're thinking about getting some sheep maybe one day I don't know when that'll be it's it's uh we have to make sure everything's safe because like I said we have other animals that come to the house and um it's just, it's crazy when you live out in the country, but we're going to figure everything out eventually. 
So I wanted to get some drawer, some of the drawers organized. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this throughout the month, just taking one or two at a time and cleaning them out. I have to do the cups and the plates and the bowls and all the things. Even though I know we'll be eating on um, paper plates, I'm sure we're not going to be washing dishes for that many people. Uh, but I still want to get everything organized and tidy and clean, get the oven super clean so the food tastes good when we cook it. Um, just get everything done this month. So we'll be focusing a lot on the kitchen in the next few videos. And I hope y'all are here for that because um, the kitchen is just the most used, the most lived in. I feel like most people spend most of their lives in their kitchen, <laughs> especially the stay at home moms. Like we are always in the kitchen doing something. So anyway, a lot of work to do in here. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to quit rambling. I know I've been talking quite a bit and I feel like I do this. I never know what to say. And then I feel like I talk too much and it's just all over the place when I'm doing these voiceovers. But I hope you all are enjoying the video so far. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been long to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh to clean the bottom of the cabinets too i'm using murphy oil soap and water for this when we first got our double wide they gave us a whole pamphlet of how to take care of it and what to clean with and it actually said to use murphy oil soap on the cabinets and stuff so it does make them shine really good it cleans really well as y'all know oil is a great cleaner and murphy oil soap is one of my favorite favorite cleaners to use i've used it for years so i'm gonna wipe those down really quick and then we're going to hop over and I'm also going to clean the microwave. I'm going to use my um, Angry Mama Kitchen Aid to do that. With her, all you do is fill it up with vinegar and water, put it in the microwave for five minutes, and it cleans it really, really nice and easy. The steam lifts up all the stuff in there, and it just makes it so easy to wipe out. I'm using some Barkeeper's Friend for my stovetop. I love Barkeeper's Friend. It's one of my favorite cleaners. I have decided to chill out on the bleach. I had been cleaning the bathrooms with bleach quite a bit lately. As y'all know, if you've been subscribed here for a while, I'm more into the natural cleaners like vinegar, baking soda, Dawn dish soap. Those three together clean so, so well. But I had been using bleach and I need to chill out on it. I used bleach in this video. It gave me a headache. I just hate the way it smells. So 
I'm gonna chill out, chill out on that for a while and go back to the vinegar and uh, Dawn dish soap and baking soda. Cause like I said, it's a really good cleaner. There's so many good natural cleaners out there that we could be using. So I'm gonna try to get back to that for y'all as well. And for us, the like the kids don't like it when I clean with chemicals either. It's just really strong. So anyway, the microwave is cleaned beautifully. I love that. And I'm also gonna go head over and we're gonna clean the dining room. I had some laundry to fold, some stuff to put away in here. So we're gonna do that now. So I don't know if y'all watch Amanda over at This Crazy Life. Um, I will link her channel below. She does not even know I exist, I'm sure, but I absolutely love her channel. I always have. I had been watching her when she only had like 32,000 subscribers, I believe. So she's just a, truly an inspiration. I absolutely love her content. Uh, she's a sweetheart. And she did one of these where she wrapped the canvas in um, craft paper I did it a little differently. I tucked mine in because it had a frame. And also, I had sent my husband to the store to get craft paper. And he came back with pink butcher paper. And I was like, oh my goodness. He was like, but you're not going to see it, right, in your project? And I was like, yes, you're definitely going to see it. But when I opened the box, I was like, you know what? This might look, it, it might work. It looks like a rusty red. And it's for Christmas. So we're going to make it work. Um so I went ahead and did it anyway. I don't particularly love the way it turned out, but it was just a little project really quick. I wanted something in my dining room since I had taken the, uh, the, the mixed tiles down. So I wanted to make something to hang in there and I just came up with this. It's not perfect. It's not beautiful. It's very homemade. Um, my painting skills are not at all on point, but I tried, I did what I could do and it just, I had fun doing it. It felt like just relaxing to me. I used to paint when I was younger and I just haven't in years and years and years. So it felt nice to just sit and paint. I usually do a lot of projects with my Cricut, but I've, I haven't hooked up my Cricut. I'm having issues with it. So I just went ahead and freehanded this. So please don't judge me too hard. I am not an artist, but it was nice to just sit and relax and just do absolutely nothing like important just to sit and paint it it was just nice and relaxing so anyway i'm gonna get this all done i hope y'all are enjoying this so far if you are and if you're not subscribed please subscribe it really helps my channel out and i wouldn't want you to miss anything and i like i said i hope everyone's doing well leave comments down below i love talking to y'all in the comments i love having y'all's input on things ideas all the things never think i get mad about things that y'all tell me, advice that y'all give me. A lot of y'all say, please don't get mad, but can I suggest this? And I don't want y'all to ever feel that way. I am here for it. Um, I am not a very prideful person at all. If I'm doing something wrong, I would love to know so that way I could fix it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this really quick. Like I said, don't laugh at me, guys. I am not an artist. I was just having a good time here. Every Christmas, baby, rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey, yeah. the snowman's dusting off his hat. 
the show for everybody To give them a smile that lasts another year Christmas baby The snow is laying two feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that also went ahead and cleaned the windows on this day. I decided to do some deep cleaning even though I was really going to wait till the more the end of the month or while well, the middle so that way it could be fresh before everybody gets here but I think what I'm going to do is just do what I can now and then I'll have to of course go back and do it again. I just went into kind of a fit this day um I don't know. I've, I've told y'all before, but when I was a kid, I was super, super messy, but there were times when uh, my mom would go in my room and it would look like a complete disaster, like a tornado blew through there. And then she said she would come back like an hour or two hours later and the room would be absolutely spotless. Um, I've been like that my whole life where I can be very, very messy, but when it's time to clean, I'm here for it. But then there are times when I get into these uh, fits where I start like really, really, really cleaning and um, I just really get into it. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I just start wanting everything to be perfect and super clean. Um, so yeah, that's what was happening on this day. I didn't plan on doing any of this till later, but It'll be easy because then later I can just go back through and do some touch-ups um, on some stuff. But it was filthy back here behind our water machine. This door is the door that we mainly use. So a lot of dust, a lot of traffic right here. We have these cords bunched up back here. I would like to do something different with this area. I just don't know what yet. Now we're going to clean the living room. It was a mess. This is where the kids usually hang out. You can see Sadie over there. Our poor baby. <laughs> just a mess. Um, but I needed to get all this cleaned up. The, like I said, the kids have been hanging out in here a lot. My husband is supposed to um, hook their Xbox again, hook up their Xbox again in their bedroom because they are always in my living room now and it drives me absolutely crazy. Um, they just, they're in here all day making a mess. Um, but I do love them being out here, but I do want the gaming systems in the, in the bedroom because I don't really get to come out here and relax much. But um, he's supposed to be working on that this week, I'm sure. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just tidy up in here. We had stuff under the table. I needed a vacuum really well. They, the four-year-old had gotten a hold of some chips, I guess. And um, so we had chips all over the floor, under the couch, just everywhere. Uh, probably next week, I'm going to pull the couches and chairs and um, pull them back and start vacuuming and sweeping under there. Make sure there's no weird smells coming from any place before our uh, guests arrive. Because like I said, I just want the home to feel clean and fresh when people are here. Especially if they're going to be eating. That's like a super 
big thing for me. If you're going to have somebody at your home to eat, make sure it's clean, it smells good, all the things. Um, just It's just out of respect for your guests. And I'm always very self-conscious about my home and how it smells. I don't know if anybody else is, but I always freak out about my home smelling bad. We have different fabrics. We have just, there's so many things that we can't clean all the time. We don't clean all the time. We don't think about, and these smells accumulate. And then like, I always feel like really weird. So whenever somebody comes to my house, I'm like, does it smell good in here? Um, I'm just really, I want my house to smell good. But with a lot of kids and a dog and just all the things going on, I can promise you my house does not always smell good. It smells really good after I clean it, though, so we'll see what happens. Um, I do like the little Glade plug-in things, but I also, they make me nervous. I know it's not healthy for us. I also know that, like, you have to really watch those because they can run out of the liquid and then you might have a fire. There's just so many different things that could go awry. So, um, yeah, I need to go get some stuff to make the house smell good before everybody gets here as well. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum these floors because like I said, they were so disgusting. I really need to clean these, um, with the shampooer. I just haven't done that yet either. I haven't, I've never cleaned this rug with the shampooer, so we'll see. I'm also getting a new couch cover. Don't even know how it's going to look, but we're going to test it out and see how it looks. This one's just very thin, and I don't like that you can see through it. I got this one on Amazon. I have another one coming from Mamma Mia cover, so whenever I get that, I'll definitely let y'all know. I always get a lot of questions when I have the Mamma Mia covers on the couch because y'all love them so much. I love, I love those covers too. But now I'm just situating this. I did get a couple of things from my mom's house when we were there. Um, the last supper plate, it's so pretty. Um, but I put that over here. I moved my lamps from the kitchen to over here. Now it looks really cluttered. I don't know where to put my lamps because in the kitchen, I can't have them lit under the cabinets because, uh, another fire hazard. So I decided to move them over here for now. And just so they're kind of out of the way. I don't want to leave too much stuff in the kitchen either. Cause like I said, it's going to be used a lot during Christmas um, but yeah, now we're just going to sweep everything. Y'all know I usually vacuum, but here lately I've been sweeping, especially when there's a lot of stuff on the floor. It's just easier for me to sweep it and, um, get that done. So I won't mop till later this evening though, once the whole house is cleaned. And like I said before, stay till the end so you can see all the afters. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay so now we're going to go ahead and clean the bedroom. It wasn't too, too bad. I did have some laundry in the chair over there. I always do. I needed to make the bed. I was talking to my husband the other day about projects this next year, and the bed frame is definitely on that list of things to do. I will show y'all that list once I have it all make, made out and organized on what we want to do first, but we do have quite a few projects in this room. It's the bed frame and also um, getting this carpet out. I've talked to y'all too many times about it, but y'all know how I feel and it's got to go. So anyway, we, we've been talking about that. So anyway, I think it'll be great. I would like to try some new colors. I do love the blue, but I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to do something different. It's just me. I like change. I like to change things. I don't get set on any one particular thing when it comes to decorating. I love change. So anyway, we'll see what happens. The room has totally improved since we first got the house. I, um, man, y'all, when I look back on some of the videos, it's crazy how much the house has changed, how much I've changed. I used to be super awkward. Even with my voiceovers, I was really awkward. And now I just talk to y'all like, um, just how I talk to y'all and I appreciate y'all so so much for understanding me and being here with me through this journey of YouTube and making our house a home over here and just all the things I just appreciate y'all so so much because 
it's been a wild ride. Um, YouTube is definitely crazy. Thank y'all so much. We finally hit 25,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm so, I'm elated. I'm so happy that y'all are all here, that our community's growing. Um, hopefully it stays peaceful and happy, our happy place. Um, we'll see how it goes. Of course, you know, we're always going to get the negative comments. Anything you do is going to bring some negativity to you, especially on the internet. I was watching Raw Beauty Christy the other day. I don't know if y'all watch her. I've watched her for years. I've always loved her content. Um, even when she started out as a makeup artist, but um, now she's more of like a homesteading mom type and I absolutely love her content. But um, she was saying how she feels like the internet is slowly dying or it's dead already because of just the what do we do? Where do we go from here? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is our content now. We're cleaning houses and we're just doing things that um, normal people do every day and we're, we're making content out of it. But does anything ever really wow y'all anymore when it comes to the internet or life in general? Like, does anything wow you? Because I kind of felt what she was saying, how I'm just not nothing really shocks me. Nothing really is just, I don't know. It's a weird world we live in. I don't know. It's just crazy. Like I remember when I first started watching cleaning videos, a lot of it was because like, I'm kind of nosy. Like even when it comes to, um, looking at houses, like I used to love to go look at houses, uh, for rent or for for buying because I just wanted to see the inside of the house and sometimes I think that's why I started watching cleaning videos because I love seeing the inside of other people's houses I love seeing what they have what they've done with the place the colors the textures um I'm just really nosy about those things I'm not nosy about the actual people but just what do you what are you doing in there like what do you have what kind of decor do you have what colors do you have um and I feel like I would also like to pursue more of that, of the de decorating and um, learning more about those things. I've always loved it. People say I'm good at it. I have absolutely no training. I just, I'm winging it. And I'm winging it, like, because, <laughs> like I said, I would love to do a bunch of really bold, different things. But I feel like a lot of times some of the colors that the house came with holds me back. So, when I say I want to change the countertops, it's not that I don't love this color. I'm just saying if it was a more neutral color, I could do any colors I want with the walls whenever I want. Because like I said, I like change. I, lo I love to change. I don't like being stuck in a box where I can't change something. Um, and it's like that with every aspect of my life, I feel like, except for my family, of course. But like, I don't mind change. I don't mind moving. I don't mind any of that stuff. Um, my hair has been through, you know, it's been there and back, if you know what I'm saying. I, I just the other day did some color oops on my hair because I'm trying so hard to get it just back to my natural red and I'm going to leave it alone because I, it's breaking. It's horrible. My daughter says it looks like I got a wolf cut. I, that's not a intentional wolf cut. I tell you that's just breakage and <laughs> my hair is a mess, but it's because I like change. I, I, I used to dye my hair constantly and then I stopped for a few years and I absolutely loved it because my hair was beautiful and it was long and it was healthy and then I started dyeing it again out of nowhere. I was like, oh, I want to be blonde. And then I hated the blonde then so I added dark brown, which is like the normal things that I do with my hair when I change it. It goes from blonde to brown and then back to red. So I'm trying to get back to red and then I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, as far as dye goes, but I used color oops and it worked pretty good. I could probably do it another time, but I didn't want to do too much damage to it. So I'll wait another month or so and maybe do that again. But yeah, I'm just rambling, but like, where were we? Yeah. Does anything wow you on the internet or are you kind of feeling like we feel like everything's been done? Um, every, like everything's at your fingertips kind of thing. Like we, is there anything left to surprise us? I guess that's what we're saying. I don't know. It's just weird. This holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself. In 
just about done in the boys room it was a mess we had goldfish everywhere um just a mess in here it usually is though they do keep it kind of tidy once it's done being cleaned but it does eventually go back to this of course they are my children so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this tidied up really quick and then we're gonna also work on their bathroom it wasn't bad at all in there um but i do want to go in there and definitely do a deep deep clean once um we get closer to christmas because of course everyone will be using this bathroom and i need to make sure my bathroom's clean too because if there's a lot of people in the house i don't know if you know they'll need to use my restroom as well so i want to make sure everything's clean and nice and tidy um i'll probably get my husband too to hang me a um a hook in here to have a towel we haven't done that this bathroom has been actually just the only part of the house that is untouched this is the original colors um i haven't done anything in this bathroom it needs a toilet paper holder it needs towel racks it needs all the things a new paint job like this bathroom needs to be done but i just haven't done it yet so that will be on the list of things to do for next year but i want to try to like i said organize everything that ne that's a priority first and then the aesthetic stuff uh second but i want to budget everything get prices on everything make sure we know exactly what we're getting into before we get into any projects because as y'all know you start doing projects now you need this you need that things that you didn't know you needed you know all the things start happening you run into issues so i want to make sure we thoroughly do our research and make a list and have it organized and like i said with the budget and everything i want to make sure we're good to go before we start any projects next year but I do have a lot planned in my head. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Um, so now I'm just going to fold a few of these towels that I had. I'm going to put those in the bathroom. And then we're going to mop the house. And then I'm going to show you all the afters. I thank you all so, so much for being here. Especially if you've made it this far. I appreciate it. Y'all really like the longer videos. That's why I've just been doing one long video a week to give you all that cleaning motivation. This, this I usually do all this on a Saturday and Sunday, sometimes on a Friday and Saturday, uh, just depending on the schedule, but it really helps me start Monday off right where everything's clean, the clothes are put away, towels are washed, everything's done so I can start the week with a clean home and it just helps me so, so much get through everything else that the week holds. So anyway, I hope y'all have been enjoying these longer videos and like I said before if you're new here and you like this type of content please subscribe I know I have a huge percentage of people that keep coming back and watching but they're not subscribed so it would really help if y'all would subscribe I, I'd appreciate it so so very much um, and I'm like that too I have to watch um, sometimes I have to watch content creators a few times to actually you know be pulled in and actually want to subscribe so I don't blame y'all at all I'm I'm the worst at it too so anyway but now that I've been creating content I I do understand what the creators need I understand that this is like a income for their families and um, I try to do more like subscribing and commenting and things like that for their videos but anyway like I said before I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope to see y'all at the next one I'm going to finish up a few things and then I'm going to show you all those afters. I love you all so, so much and take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.